Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today with a video jam-packed full of ideas for sewing for spring. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below in the description. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because I bring you a new video packed full of sewing goodness every Friday. So before I get stuck into the video, I just want to set an expectation that there is a lot to cover in this video. There's a lot of patterns, a lot of fabrics and a lot of inspiration so I'm not going to go into those finer details about the patterns in this roundup but if you jump on and check out the links below you'll find all the full details on our website and do drop us an email if ever you need any help or have any questions but let's get started with the first trend so the first trend I want to talk to you about is the oversized or classic shirt trend I saw this absolutely everywhere the blue striped shirt was really really big there's a definite theme across lots and lots of retailers at the moment for that classic blue striped shirt but with some fun variations thrown in as well so i saw cropped versions i saw versions where different stripe fabrics had been mi mixed and matched so you might have one stripe on the body of the garment and then use a different fabric for the collar and the button band or the cuffs for example or the patch pockets um, i thought there were a lot of fun variations for this trend and then if you're somebody who likes a bit of bold colour like me, um, the bolder the better. You can um, go for a plain bold shirt instead of a blue striped shirt. Um, but yeah, really fun trend to get your teeth in and to and lots and lots of fun to sew. So the first pattern I want to share with you is Mimi G. It, um, it's a simplicity pattern, 8889. It's a really cute cropped shirt pattern with a dipped hem at the back. And we've actually got three striped shirting fabrics and um, blue striped shirting fabrics on the website and we've also got a blue and white spot as well like a cornflower blue color so I thought you could have lots of fun mixing and matching those they're really beautiful quality I think the stripes are actually ex designers so they're definitely worth checking out we've got more than this downstairs as well I just brought a piece up to make my life easier um, the other pattern I thought would work well for this trend is Mimi G9554, which is a unisex pattern, definitely oversized, got the big patch pockets, and they've even used the stripes and had a bit of fun playing around with the stripes on this one on the pattern packet too. And then finally, I did see shirts that were, they had like those classic sort of shirt features such as a stand-up collar or a shirt collar, perhaps not a stand-up collar, but a shirt style collar. Um, and they had classic sort of shirt cuffs, but then they might have a puff sleeve and some more feminine details to sort of balance out that structure of the traditional shirt. And I thought that Simplicity 9467 ticked that box really well. And I thought that you could make that up in one of our cotton linen blends um, and go for that bold trend that I was talking about. So I chose our lovely jade green in the cotton linen. I think that would work really well. And you could wear that oversized shirt over a white t-shirt with jeans perhaps um, and yeah just you, you know the oversized shirt trend you can wear them with the combat trousers and um, that are very popular at the moment which I'm going to be talking to you about as well or you can just wear them with your classic jeans I think they look great as well with a pair of shorts um, when the winter temperatures get a bit warmer and a, a white t-shirt underneath that would be a good look as well so the next pattern I want to share with you or the next trend I want to share with you is the cargo pants or combat trousers so um, I think I shared these with you at some point last year and they were sort of starting to gather momentum then I was probably a little bit ahead of the curve but they have hit the shops big time this year and yeah there's no need to panic you know we don't need to go full sort of like 1990s Christina Aguilera um, there are ways to dress them sort of more in a more sophisticated way in a more chic way um, they they are dressed with like crop tops and things like that that's still happening but if you're more comfortable wearing something um, that's longer in the in the length on the body with them um, I saw people wearing them with a t-shirt and a bomber jacket I saw people wearing them with knitwear I saw people wearing them with um, t-shirts and blazers as well so there's lots and lots of different choices lots of different ways to play around and ultimately 
I really like this trend because it's going to be comfortable so that's another tick in the box for me as far as I'm concerned. So on that note, talking of comfort, there's a great pattern by Vicky Sews, the Joanne Pants, which is a cargo pant trouser but it is actually to be made in sweatshirt fabric. Um, so this would be lovely and comfortable, good for this sort of transition-y weather type of uh, time of year. It's still pretty cold um, but you do want to get your teeth into some new trends and I chose our sweatshirt um, fleece backed fabric and this is the teal colorway. I thought that would look great sewn up into those Joanne pants and then paired with perhaps a chunky white knit um, or perhaps if you did make an oversized shirt you could wear one of those with them. Um, if you're somebody who wants to go a little smarter than that because there were quite a sort of few luxe trends like satiny um, cargo pants if you wanted them for a night out. Um, you could use McCall's 8099 which is a great pattern, it definitely ticks that cargo pant trend and on the pattern packet you can see they've dressed them up um, but they would be super easy to dress down as well and I thought that you could make those in you could go for like a satin fabric we've got some lovely satin back crepe on the website um, that would work well for those if you wanted an evening wear a cargo pant but if you're going for just day to general daytime wear I thought this classic seven berry cotton twill fabric in the um, beige colorway would be great but we also do this in a wide range of really lovely colors as well we do some lovely bold colors we've got like a navy we've got a khaki green so there's something there for everybody so do jump on and check those out as I said at the start of the video all of the patterns all of the fabrics I mentioned today they're all going to be in the description below they're going to be linked down there and then continuing with the cargo trend as well if you're somebody who prefers to wear skirts you could see it on skirts as well um, you can see it on jackets skirts trousers it's all about the patch pockets and the bigger the better um, so if you're somebody who prefers wearing a skirt I thought that Birda 5991 covered the trend quite nicely so it's a slightly A-line button down skirt with two big patch pockets on the front and again that would look great sewn up in one of our seven berry twill fabrics and then continuing on the cargo theme as I mentioned the cargo jacket was um, everywhere as well so something that's super easy to wear really useful to have in your wardrobe and I think a nice way to dip your toe in the waters of sewing a bit of outerwear as well if you haven't done it before it's probably going to be a little bit easier than sewing a properly sort of tailored very structured jacket because they tend to be a bit looser fitting um, not so structured so it'd be a nice way to dip your toe in the water there and the first pattern I chose for this was Simplicity 9688 which has just got those cargo style patch pockets on the front and then it's got a waist tight round the waist for a relaxed casual look but something that you could wear with um, shorts a cargo sort of style blazer or oversized blazer looks great with shorts in this in the spring when it gets a bit warmer um, but it would also look great with your jeans um, you know you can wear it with lots of different things and it would just be really easy to wear and a great little cover-up to have in your wardrobe um, and then another pattern I chose for that same trend was the Vicky Sews Rihanna blazer very very similar sort of theme just a slightly different color a bit of a wider sort Sort of um, more sort of um, substantial collar on the Vicky Sews version but very similar with the patch pockets again and the tie round the waist and either of those patterns I think would work really well sewn up in our cotton linen mix fabric so I thought the black actually I'm somebody who is not very good at doing neutrals I always get drawn I'm like a magpie I get drawn to the pretty colours and the prints all the time and then I do miss these sort of staple items in my wardrobe but I thought actually a black blade blazer um, a black linen blazer would see you through the seasons and um, through the years as well it's a bit of a classic isn't it so that would be my choice for that one however as I said the linen does come in a range of colours so if you prefer to make something nice and bold like this lovely jade green one that I showed you earlier I think that would work really well as well the next trend I want to talk about is the midi skirt trend so nothing groundbreaking or particularly new here but the midi skirt is here to stay um, lots of them have got a slit up the front not a massive thigh slit but probably just to above the knee 
um, and I saw people wearing them with pumps, with sandals, with boots. They're great for sort of transitioning again. You can put your tights on underneath and put a pair of boots on if you, if you need a bit more warmth. Um, and also still wearing them with chunky knits as well. So great for this time of year again to get you through these last few not very pleasant months. Um, and the pattern I chose, oh, I saw also lots of them were in like lovely, pretty pastel hues like these ones I've got here. So I saw lots of the colour, Pantone colour of the year is Viva Magenta, I think it's called, which is like a really bright pink. So that's here to stay. But then there were lots of pretty sort of corn flowery blues, sky blues, those sorts of colours. Um, and I definitely saw lots of those on the midi skirts and on the dresses as well. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of fabrics that tick that box on the website now as well. So the first pattern I chose was Simplicity 9472, which is a high-waisted midi skirt with a little slit at the front, options for pleating or gathers. Um, I'd go for the pleated version and I'd pair it with um, just a simple white t-shirt and some pumps. And the fabric I chose is one of our new dead stock fabrics. So these are end of um, production leftover um, dead stock fabrics. This is a viscose chalet and it's a really pretty lilac colour with a white sort of floral um, print on it, which I thought was absolutely lovely for spring summer. And I think that would work really well for that skirt. And then the other skirt that I wanted to share with you for this trend is McCall's 8327. I think this sort of snuck onto the website without me realising, but this definitely ticks the box of this trend. Um, it's got the thigh slit at the front, and then it's got a cute little sort of ruche detail at the waist as well. And it's actually a skirt for knit and jersey fabrics. So I thought that our new cotton jersey, I'm sure it's a cotton jersey, um, and it's in a lovely sort of sky blue colour with this really pretty little white floral design, ditzy design on it. And it's actually a really nice weight, this is. Um, it's substantial enough to, to use as a skirt fabric. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that would work really well for that. It's nice and opaque um, and it's just like, it's not like a really lightweight sort of flowy jersey it's flowy enough but it's substantial and opaque enough as well if you know what I mean by that but yeah I thought that would work really well but this sort of print the last two I've shown you in those colours like the lilacs the sky blues uh, with the white flowers I saw those everywhere so they're very very fashionable right now and then the next trend I wanted to share with you, again, the last couple, there's nothing massively groundbreaking. Things haven't changed particularly um, in the last few years on these few different things. But my focus on these videos is always on the wearable. Um, I always want to work on the wearable trends and pick out things that I think, yes, I would definitely make that. And if I made it, I would definitely wear it because who wants to spend hours and hours making something and then not wear it? Um, but yeah, the blouses, again, were very, very similar to what we've seen in previous seasons, usually quite sort of oversized, little romantic details like um, a sort of little V at the front with um, some little um, ties, like long ties, puff sleeves, little bits of ruffles still, ruffles are still around, um, just that sort of romantic peasanty vibe and always tucked into high-waisted wide leg trousers or jeans um, just to balance that sort of fluidity out. You've got that nice sort of structure and shape then of wide leg trousers and jeans on the bottom for a really contemporary look. Um, the patterns I chose for this trend, the first one is Simplicity 9 four six nine which if you follow the vlog you will have seen before because I've made it I love it um, you all loved it too it's one of our best-selling patterns of 2022 it's a real goodie it's just got a little keyhole design or you can go for a v-neck with the ties very much what I was just talking about and the fabric I chose for that one is another one of our dead stock visco chalet fabrics um, really really pretty design it's like a cornflower blue again going with those pinky purpley bluey hues but yeah that lovely cornflower bluey color with that pink floral rose design on it really love that one very very pretty and i think that would work really well for that pattern so i'm just going to pop that 
there. No, I'm not. It's not going to stand up very well. I'm just going to pop that behind me. If you just bear with me, I've got a lot of fabrics to be juggling here today. Um, and then the next pattern I wanted to share with you for this trend is McCall's 8220. Um, again, I think I've shared this one before. Really like this design. Um, it's got a button down front, a V-neck, and then it would be the long sleeve version I was thinking of for this trend. And it's a bit cropped as well, which I really like and think would work really well with the wide leg trousers I was talking about. So the fabric I would use to make that up in is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dashwood rayon, which I've wanted to get on the website forever um, because it's just so pretty, perfect for spring, perfect for a bit of endorphin dressing it in some lovely bright pops of colour into your spring wardrobe. I think that would work really, really well. Um, as I said at the start of the video, don't forget all of these patterns and fabrics are available on our website and I've popped links to everything below. Hopefully, if you have any trouble finding anything, just drop me a message in the comments. Try to answer them on the day after the video goes live. Um, but also, you can always just drop us an email and we'll always answer that for you as well. Um, and then the other pattern I wanted to show you for the blouse trend was the Anita Peasant Blouse. Very similar sort of theme to the Simplicity one I showed you, just a nice loose fitting, flowy, little tie at the front, um, sleeves gathered into elastic, bit of a puff sleeve, um, perfect for this trend. And I spotted actually a fabric, I think it was almost identical to this one. I love this one. This is another one of our dead stocks. Um, this is a poly viscose mix and as I said the colour of the year, Pantone colour of the year is Viva Magenta so definitely these sort of bold bright pinks are still very much in fashion and I thought this would make a great blouse. I really hope I get round to making something with that, it's right at my street. Um, and then the next trend I wanted to talk to you about, I've talked to you about it already throughout the video. I think a really key piece for spring is a pair of wide leg jeans or wide leg trousers. The wide leg is definitely here to stay, um, whether you go for flares, boot cut or just full on wide leg. Um, so I just definitely think embrace the trend, wear it with cropped, um, a cro generally you need to balance it out so either tuck your blouses in or wear a cropped blouse with them. Um, but yeah, I, the, the wide leg is here to stay, says she who is actually at confession time in a pair of skinny jeans today, but you know, I'm sure you'll forgive me. Um, so a few pairs of trousers to share here. I've got the Vicky Sews Jacqueline trousers, um, which are a lovely wide-legged classic sort of trouser um, with a waistband, fly front zip, and, and then a secret little elasticated bit at the back, which makes them nice and comfortable. Um, the fabric I chose to sew those up in was our gorgeous John Caldor Prestige crepe because the wide leg trousers that I saw, it was generally sort of indigo coloured jeans or lighter coloured jeans and then the trousers that were made from crepe and those sorts of fabrics generally they're all the very bright colours um, again that endorphin dressing that we've really seen the last few seasons which just like makes my heart sing I absolutely love a bright colour um, but yeah I would I would just wear them paired with a black or a white t-shirt um, but another fun way to add a pop of colour into your spring wardrobe and then the other trousers that I wanted to share for this trend are the rose trousers by Made by Ray Patterns. Um, a lovely sort of relatively deep waistband on these. Again, a nice wide leg, bit of pleating at the front underneath the waistband, which is really flattering, um, but then elasticated at the back again. So a nice bit of comfort there. And you can make these as a short, a crop trouser or a long trouser. And I thought they would look fab sewn up in our cotton linen mix, which I've shown you earlier in the video and comes in a wide range of colours so do check those out and then the next trend I wanted to share with you oh no I haven't quite finished yet so we've got one more pattern that I wanted to share with you which is the dawn jeans or trousers um, so these are super super popular I've seen so many lovely versions on Instagram and everywhere else where everybody shares all their sewing makes people rave about this pattern 
It's a really good pattern for ticking that wide leg jeans or trouser box. And I would use that pattern with this lovely, you have to have a rigid denim for the dawn jeans. And we've got this lovely rigid denim, um, which is like a light bluish uh, color, which would be absolutely perfect for spring, I thought. I think a pair of dawn jeans made up in that would look absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's the wide leg trouser trend. And then finally, you know, we've got to throw some dresses in for a trends vlog. Again, nothing massively groundbreaking here. I think just what I've noticed the last couple of seasons is we've gone from trapeze dresses and very, very oversized flowy dresses to dresses that have kept those sort of romantic little details, the frills, the ruffles, um, the tiered skirts, those sorts of things. But the waists are getting cinched in again. We're going for more sort of fitted silhouettes now. So um, not so oversized, much more sort of fitted and figure hugging. Still not really sort of um, overly tight or fitted, um, but definitely the silhouettes are sort of drawing into the body a little more. But then we've still got all those lovely, pretty little frilly details that we've seen for many seasons now. So the first dress I wanted to share with you for this one is New Look 6728. Um, I hadn't spotted this pattern before. It's another one that snuck on the website without me realising, but I just thought it was really cute. Um, I think I might be tempted to tie the bow at the back of the dress rather than the front of the dress. You might have to alter it slightly to do that. Um, but yeah, just really like the V-neck with the um, neck band and then the sort of gathers around the waist, the little gathers under the sleeve at the top um, and just different, it's a short dress with different sleeve options, just thought it was really really nice. Um, the fabric I would use to make that up in is, I thought this was um, a good one to look at, for those of you who aren't massive lovers of colour and prefer something a bit more of a neutral palette. This is like a nude sort of colour. Um, and then it's got this black um, animal print on it. And then the floral design on top of that. And I just absolutely love it. It's another dead stock, viscose chalet. Um, just thought what a great combo that was between the floral and that animal print. Really love that one. So that was my choice for the new look pattern. And then another one that's been really, really popular recently. Um, and I think will be all spring and summer, is the one of the more recent um, releases from the Closet Core Pattern Company, the NYX Dress and Blouse. Um, the dress has got a tiered skirt, a button down bodice, and then puff sleeves. It's got gathers and pretty little details on it. Again, cinched in at the waist, so I think it's got an elasticated waist. Um, so that ticks all the boxes of what I was talking about earlier very nicely. And the fabric I thought you could use to make that up in is another new dead stock fabric. It's our cotton linen, um, which is in a really pretty sort of yellowy, orangey um, hue, the background is. And then it's got little pink, pretty flowers on it. And I just thought that would work really, really well. Be a lovely addition to your spring wardrobe. And then finally, another dress that as soon as it came in, I thought I have to have this in my wardrobe. It's a Vicky Sews pattern. It's the Esther dress. Um, it's got a square neckline, fitted bodice, button down front and gathered midi length skirt. I thought this would work really well and was very in keeping with the sorts of trends I saw dress wise in all my favorite stores. And the fabric I would use for this one is the last of our dead stock fabrics that I'm going to show you. It's an absolute corker. I love this one so much. I think I've seen something very, very similar in one of my favourite high street stores. Um, so it's a viscose chalet again. It's a dead stock and it's um, a lovely blue colour with a floral print, but then it's got little cherries and little bees on it as well. Cherries and bees and flowers, I know. What a winning combo, absolutely gorgeous. And I think that would work really, really well for that dress. So 
I feel pretty exhausted after that, but I've enjoyed it a lot. I loved putting the video together. I'm super excited about all these lovely new fabrics we've got, all the lovely colours we've got, and there is a whole lot of sewing inspiration there to choose from. So I really hope that you feel as motivated as I do to get sewing for spring now. As I said at the start of the video, you can find links to everything below, the website, the patterns, the fabrics, it's all there for you. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.